introducing your first warrior. Fighting out of the blue corner! This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of nine wins and one loss. He stands 184 centimeters tall and weighs already 83.8 kilograms. Representing KHK MMA in the magnificent Kingdom of Bahrain by way of Russia. Give it up for Ikram Alaskarov. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of nine wins and four losses. He stands 100. 85 centimeters tall and weighs already 83.6 kilograms. Representing Evolve Gym and fighting out of Moscow, Russia. Give it up for Dennis Tululin. There we see the tail of the tip. Dennis Tululin, the elder by five years, both men virtually the same height, the weight identical. A fantastic middle weight bite and prospect here, Kirik. Co-main event of Combat Kingdom 1 is on! Touch of the gloves and we are away. Both men have devastating power in their hands. I give a slight wrestling and MMA grappling edge to Ikram Alaskarov. There you can see that, that striking background from the movement. Head kick attempted by Alaskarov. Nice work to the body from Dennis. Thought about the takedown, but completely denied. And for his efforts, Ikram Alaskarov scores a beautiful takedown. Tululun pops back up to standing. What he's got to watch is having his back fully taken and driven down again. That's what you saw right there. He's going to try and pop back up again. Alaskarov is aware that his first takedown attempt was largely thwarted by that quick pop-up. He's using his head to stay on top of his opponent. He may try and shelf those legs. But it's not just the wrestling of Alice Kerov that's impressive. It's the ground and point work that he can do from that position. Turns their hips over beautifully and can land devastating ground and point like we saw in the Diego Gonzalez fight. It is, Phil. My, my favorite style of fighting in mixed martial arts is the grind. The grind is not just wrestling. It's not just striking. It's not. It's the constant grind. You are always being threatened, and that's what you have with Ikram Alice Kerov. He's always threatening to take you down. He's threatening to secure tighter control he's threatening shots he's threatening submissions he's threatening to take you down again it's a terrible thing to have to deal with Tallulah doing a good job getting up to one knee gets up to both feet but eats a big left from Alice Carroll for his trouble and you can see Alice Carroll it's almost misdirection he lands these little pot shots up top but as he's doing that he's creating movement to step around the back and try and get a trip very intelligent work Again, good head placement and head fighting from Alice Kerov. Phil, as we saw earlier tonight with Kian Cowley, fighter is proving to be, Tulun is proving to be adept at standing back up, but thus far he has not been able to get off the fence and separate. Oh, but Alice Picks him up belly to belly, WWE style, drops him on his back. And now it's time for Alice Kerov to go to work. He really is just the, the personification of a world-class mixed martial arts gl grappler, Carrick. Puts it all together beautifully and almost has like a sixth sense when it comes to the groundwork. Very uh, impressive. Oh, strips forward straight into mount like a hot knife through butter. I was impressed. Oh, and it gets worse. That is the proverbial. Alice Kerov does have two wins on his record via submission, so we know he also has that in his locker. He's got everything in the kitchen sink in his locker. This is a complete mixed martial artist. And that complete mixed martial artist has both, hicks, both hooks in tight. And again, he's not trying to rush anything. He's not forcing anything to happen. He's basing everything he does off the, the, uh, the rushed reaction of Dennis Tululand. Again, it's the old adage of giving someone just enough rope to hang themselves. He's letting Dennis Tululand create these little pockets of space that he then exploits just there using the strikes to try and get that arm underneath the chin he's trying to work a little bit for that body triangle needs to be wary of crossing the feet props two to Tulu and he's still in this game trying to throw an up elbow twice thus far trying to throw shots but he is not able yet to deal with the wrestling game of Ikram Alice Karov nice two and one wrist control then transitions into a pot shot elbow to the back of the head 
So Leland doing a good job to try and get back to his feet, but will all that effort be completely shut down and wasted by Alice Kerov? Again, big takedown from Alice Kerov. Fantastic flair. Using beautiful MMA intelligence to realize this is where he's strongest. This is where there's potentially um, a little bit of a deficit in my opponent's skill set, and he's exploiting that beautifully. There is potentially a finish via ground and pound here, too. Again, work classic body, body, head. Work from Alice Kerov. If there is a fight, if the fight does end from top, it's likely to be from those elbows, opening up a monster cut. As we mentioned previously, Alice Kerov looking to parlay that momentum from the Diego Gonzalez fight into this fight, and it's not taking on a dissimilar blueprint. Take down to heavy ground and pound, lather, rinse, repeat. I know on television these shots to the body look like pity pats, but they are not. They're within my hearing. These are solid shots. They're sucking the energy out of his opponent. They hurt, and they may be opening up even bigger opportunities to strike. And that's it, round one. Very, Call around, Judge Phil. Very, very dominant display from Ikram Aliskarov. The question is, Phil, is it 10-9 or 10-8? For me, it's a 10-9. A At this point, I don't think anything he did was uh, dominant enough to warrant the 10-8. Yes, he landed strikes, but Tolulan did get up a number of times. I think a major factor in this fight may be the fact this is Ikram's eighth consecutive fight in Brave Combat Federation. Dennis Tolulan is making his debut. He's not used to competing on a stage such as this. The, the, the Brave Arena can be a very daunting place when you're stepping into it for the first time. Ikram Alaskarov is uh, an eight fight veteran of Brave, making his debut all the way back at Brave 6 in Kazakhstan in April of 2017. So he knows exactly what that cage feels like underneath his feet. He knows the, the, the nooks and crannies of the cage, if you will, the, the nuances of fighting inside the Brave Arena. We're looking at both fighters in their corner. I don't think there's any question about who's looking more fatigued, although Ikram was the more aggressive fighter. He does appear to be less fatigued than Dennis Tolulan. But that's the thing with Ikram Aliskarov. He's so stoned face. He's, he'd be an incredible poker player because regardless of what's going on, he maintains that same visage, that same demeanor. KHK Poker League coming. <laughs> All in. Big overhand from Dennis there. That's what he's looking for. Oh, oh nice stiff job from Ikram Aliskarov. Ikram shows there's two good strikers in here. Again, that job is working very well for Ikram. Dennis trying to find that. Oh, big takedown again. Off the charging momentum of Dennis to Luland. So intelligent. Phil, it's not a huge fan favorite, but this sport depends almost entirely on timing. And that wasn't just exquisite timing, that was perfect timing we just saw there. Well, if you're not a fan of this particular style, maybe uh, you shouldn't be watching mixed martial arts. What we're looking at is a fantastic, well-rounded mixed martial artist who's modified his sambo game to be effective in mixed martial arts. And if you don't have the MMA intellect to appreciate that, go and watch soccer. That, that, that timing was just breathtakingly perfect. Again, just positional control from Ikram Aliskarov. Denis Tolulun is a Russian warrior. He is not giving any quarter. He is not giving up. He is trying to win every second of this round, but he has not been successful to successful as of yet. Nice little pot shot elbows from Ikram again. None of these, none of these shots may be particularly concussive, but it's the volume and the frequency with which he's throwing them that's impressive. Tolulun pops up again, but of course the huge danger when you stand up is getting your back taken. One hook in for Ikram Aliskarov. If Ikram gets that figure four on the body, that triangle on the body, it is devastating to the opponent's conditioning. I think he knows it, and I think he's going to be looking for it. Again, it's just, I'd, I'd like to see the, the amount of strikes landed by Ikram Aliskarov, because it's just the frequency, it's constant, it's consistent, it's never giving his opponent time to, to react, to, to formulate a game plan, a way out. It is a textbook, textbook example of my favorite style of fighting, the grind. This is how you grind. You threaten positionally. You threaten to take your opponent down. You threaten constantly with shots. And there's always the threat of a submission. And the hallmark of a great Russian fighter, all about that wrist control. 
everything's kind of predicated off that. The strikes that you then land, the position you advance to, very, very smart. You can tell that the Ekram's done his research on Dennis, seen what kind of fighter he is, seen that he's very dangerous and explosive on the feet. And the best way to completely shut down an offensive striker is to impose a wrestling heavy style upon them. Absolutely. He's doing exactly what he should do to do, any, to do anything else but this would be unintelligent. This is what mixed martial arts is all about. You find what your opponent is better than you at, and you try and use another phase of the game to try and nullify it. You're seeing it very successfully employed here. And once again, Ikram is not being a blanket here. He's not doing the least he can to avoid a stand-up. He is trying to damage his opponent. And I would say from the concussion, concussive force behind those knees, he's succeeding. He is damaging that thigh. If you look at the kind of guys that Ekram's been in there with, he's been in with former number one contender Chad Hanacom, Jeremy Pitbull Smith, Joey Birkenbosch, sorry, Joey Birkenbosch, and uh, Geraldo Coelho, all guys he's beaten, so that shows you the degree oh! of quality. Another huge takedown, landing himself right in the mounted position. Beautiful back play. You have to give credit to Tallulah, and every time he's taken down, he's trying everything he can to work back up, but... His grappling and wrestling skills just quite aren't at the level of Ekram Aliskarov. He is a Russian. Russians never give up, ever. He will never give up in this fight. He is always looking to stand up and try and knock his opponent out. He's just not being afforded that opportunity to try to sit out. I like, Unsuccessful. I like what Ekram's doing here with the knees to the thighs, trying to take that pop out of the step of Dennis Tolulin, because when when he gets up, he's going to feel those legs very heavy. It's, it's akin to giving your, your friend a dead leg in school, punching him in the leg and running away. It's and they can't run after you because they're limping. It's a very intelligent attack. And notice, he's not attacking just the thighs. not only attacking that perineal nerve that runs down the outside of the thigh. He's also attacking the gluteus. Ikram trying to get that hook in on the cage side. Not able to. Because Dennis Tolulin, very wisely, keeping himself tight up against that cage so the hook can't go in. And if anything, these knees are going to be more effective given that he has a minute break. Whether he sits down or stands up is going to be very telling right now. Once again, Judge Phil, 10-9 or 10-8? Again, a 10-8, a ten, a ten uh, sorry, a 10-9 for me, purely because there, there wasn't any point where you seen Dennis Tolulin at the point of being finished. For me, a 10-8 round needs to be, there needs to be a point in the round where somebody's so dominant that there's potential for a fight to be finished. And we didn't see that. While Stakeram was very dominant, we didn't see him on the verge of finishing the fight. Agreed. I could have gone either way on this one. I am calling that one a 10-8 round because of the sheer dominance of that attack. And Dennis to Lulin right now, cutting a dejected figure. Hands on the knees, head down, and with all the blood gathering at those spots where the knees landed, it's gonna be very difficult for him to, to operate at 100% with regards to his movement in the third and final round. It is, it's, it's hard to be 100% when your legs aren't. Those legs are probably kicking somewhere around 60 or 70. I wanna say once again though, this is a Russian fighter. This is not a man who's gonna allow himself to be cowed by anyone. He's gonna come out and do what he does best, which is try to end the fight by strikes. Yeah, these Russian fighters weren't born, they were engineered. Oh, nice, nice. shot. Very offensive work there from Ikram Aliskarov. Tolulin appears wobbled. A little bit of a slip there. Oh, Ooh, both men landing jams. strikes, but head kick from Ikram. Nice sprawl, but again, Ikram so intelligent, forces his opponent to the cage. And these guys are starting to exchange a little bit. Excellent work by Tolulin, shutting down his opponent's wrestling game now. This is exactly what he wants, but is he too fatigued to take advantage of it? This is the fight he wants. He's stopped the takedown now. He's forced it to stay standing. Can he stay standing, and can he land the shot he wants to? But gets caught coming in by a big shot from Ikram. Again, Ikram showing that he has cultured striking as well when he chooses to use it. Fast hands, even in the third round from Ikram. 
someone like Dennis Talugland always has that one punch knockout power, but perfect jab from Ikram. And he looks like he's getting a little bit loose in there with his striking. I Ikram has to be careful, Phil. He could get knocked out here still, and as you saw, I think he knew that, took his opponent down to the mat. We know what happens from here. But what he did there was he played the striking game for a little bit to the Key point Key luck coming, Phil. Key luck coming. He's got to pass that half guard. If he does, I think that's the end of the match. Can Dennis Talulin hold on? He's trying to grip his hands, or is he just delaying the inevitable? Ikram may use the point of the elbow to rub. And the that looks like it's set. He's going to break it. It's the top! Ikram Alice Kerov with the third submission win of his mixed martial arts career, picking up the 10th win. Fantastic performance from the KHK, my Kerik. Tap, tap, tap for Ikram Alice Kerov shutting down the boom, boom, boom of Dennis Tolulan. Two fighters in the cage showing each other respect. What a performance and here we by our hero, Ikram Alice Kerov. Here we see the beginning of the end. Steps over the head. Dennis trying to connect the hands, but he was merely delaying the inevitable. Alice Kerov just gets that torque on the arm, and it looked like it was on its way to popping before Dennis Talulin taps out, because it was a case of tap or snap. That was so deep. Again, Ikram Alice Kerov just showing how well rounded he is. And has he placed himself front and center as the number one contender in the middleweight division? To make things official, let's throw it up to the man himself, Mr. Carlos Kramer. All right, Brave Nation, an incredible, incredible co-main event of the evening. This one comes to an end at one minute and 48 seconds of the third round. Your winner, by Kimura from KHK MMA Bahrain by way of Russia, Ikram Alex.